10 Key Concepts in Cognitive Neuropsychology Explained Cognitive neuropsychology studies how brain structures relate to cognitive functions, often through cases of brain damage or dysfunction. By examining these relationships, we can better understand how different areas of the brain contribute to thinking, memory, language, and perception. Here are 10 key concepts that have shaped this field. 1. Modularity of mind. The brain is composed of distinct regions, or modules, that handle specific cognitive functions like memory and language. Damage to a module affects only the associated function, revealing the brain's modular structure. 2. Functional specialization. Specific areas of the brain are specialized for certain cognitive functions. For example, the occipital lobe is dedicated to vision, while Broca's area focuses on speech production. 3. Brain lateralization. The left hemisphere is dominant for language and logic, while the right hemisphere manages spatial skills and creativity. Studying patients with hemisphere damage helps understand the brain's division of cognitive labor. 4. A neural plasticity. Neuroplasticity is the brain's ability to reorganize after injury or learning. It shows the brain's adaptability, with functions moving to undamaged regions, especially in stroke recovery. 5. Executive function. This includes decision-making, problem-solving, and impulse control, primarily managed by the prefrontal cortex. Damage to this area disrupts planning and judgment, showcasing the complexity of high-level cognition. 6. Working memory. The short-term holding and manipulation of information are crucial for reasoning. Damage to the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex impairs working memory, affecting tasks like problem-solving and instruction following. 7. Aphasia. A language disorder from damage to areas like Broca's or Wernicke's, causing difficulties in speech and comprehension. Aphasia cases shed light on how the brain processes language. 8. Prosopinosia. Known as face blindness, this is caused by damage to the fusiform gyrus. Studying this condition helps understand how the brain processes facial recognition versus other visual objects. 9. Attention networks. Different brain networks manage attention, with damage to this area causing conditions like neglect syndrome, where patients ignore part of their visual field. This reveals how attention is distributed across brain circuits. 10. Memory systems. Memory is divided into types, such as declarative, facts, and procedural, the skills. Studying patients with hippocampal damage shows how these systems operate independently, with one form of memory often remaining intact when the other is impaired. Cognitive neuropsychology uses these concepts to explore brain injuries and dysfunctions, helping improve treatment for cognitive deficits. If you learn something new about how psychology affects our daily lives, then consider subscribing to my YouTube channel so that you don't miss the next episode. Until next time, stay sharp.